What's up guys? I'm Isaac here at the Back of Road Harley Davidson in Raleigh, North Carolina. And today I have the 2024 Harley Davidson Breakout 117 to show you. As you've probably already seen, Harley Davidson has started to show off some 2024 carryover models, primarily in both the soft tail and the trike families. Uh, now you might have seen some of our previous videos talk about the 2024 Lowrider ST showing the one we had off in that beautiful red rock color. Uh, but I want to go ahead and show you just how gorgeous this breakout is. Now the one we have here for you is bursting in blue, probably why it has the name Blue Burst. If you remember the breakouts from last year, uh, they were, there was the Baja orange, vivid black, and a couple other colors, and they were all just gorgeous, just blasting with color. Uh, and it looks like 2024 is gonna be no different. So they're still gonna be reamped, uh, like the ones we saw last year with more chrome, five gallon tank, all those same changes we saw uh, from the previous Milwaukee 8 versions. Now, if you wanna see some of the differences uh, between the Milwaukee 8 version and how it was carried over to this new one uh, for the 2023s, uh, then be sure to check out that other video we did. But it looks like the 2024s are gonna be rocking a lot of those same changes. Uh, just gonna be maybe some new paint schemes, uh, such as this one we've got right here. So looking at this one, it's looking like we're seeing a lot of those same awesome chrome accents all over this thing, right down the middle of the tank, all over on the motor, uh, the heavy breather, the two to two pipe, still rocking that 117 Milwaukee 8, lots of great power. And that massive rear tire is gonna give you plenty of traction to be able to hook to that asphalt uh, to really get this thing rolling. And that nice extended profile, when people think Harley Davidson and think that old school chopper look, uh, this is probably what they're gonna be thinking of. And this paint, I gotta give you a closer look up of this thing. I mean, this is just gorgeous. All that flake all the way through there. Um, I parked it over here so you could really let that sun hit it and just bounce off of all that flake and the chrome everywhere. Uh, you've got that beautiful tank badging with a little bit uh, not quite scallops, not quite flames, uh, just little uh, not quite pinstripes. I'm not sure what the technical name for it would be, uh, but really kind of offsetting it a little bit. Now you do have the LED headlight up on the front, the traditional one that we've been seeing here on the breakouts a little bit more. Uh, still plenty bright. Uh, let's see, now this one in particular, we've got cruise control, ABS, those fun things. We're also seeing traction control on that. We're starting to see that on a few more soft deal models for 2024. So we're getting a lot more power out of that motor. So we're starting to see those rider safety enhancements uh, follow with it as well. So, but like I said, with that massive rear tire, it's gonna be holding on pretty well. So pair that with a massive front tire and you just have a silhouette of a motorcycle that is just cool. Now to help this bike keep its minimalist profile, uh, you're seeing that top clamp gauge that we're starting to see on a few more bikes, such as the Lowrider ST, the Street Bob, the Soft Tail Standard. There's no gauges on the tanks, so you don't have to look down as far, and there's nothing sticking way up above the bars either. So it's a nice, clean looking view from the cockpit, and you've got your bright, easy displays, uh, easy to tell right there. Uh, you've got your, your indicator lights below it. So I would go ahead and show you what the stance is gonna look like on this motorcycle. I'll throw a leg over it for you. So, go ahead and stand it up. Really good riding position, uh, throwing a leg up here. Um, it's a little more forward than that standard kind of neutral position we were uh, seeing on the soft tail standards and stuff like that. Uh, I'm a little bit more forward, uh, which is probably a good thing considering how much power this bike has. Pair that with the foot pegs right there and I'm really set up to, to move with this bike because that's exactly what it's gonna wanna do when you start bringing out the throttle. And of course, come check out this motorcycle here in person. It's Back Road Harley Davidson. If you're looking for having a motorcycle, that's probably gonna be one of the most complimented bikes, no matter where you take it. Probably gonna be this one right here, the Breakout. So thank you guys for watching, and we hope to see you around here soon.